Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell to help me meet my goal of 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. As of filming, things are still not sorted out here on YouTube. We may not know until the end of the month if they are but in the meantime thank you so much for all of your continued support and words of encouragement today though i have the november her mind box to share with you or if you are like me and a fan of the great british baking show ermine and this box is in fact named after and dedicated to a family member of pam and trudy who are the co-founders and owners of this box which is always very lovely i think it's beautiful and this time the box is pretty heavy so they've managed to pack a bunch of goodies into here. This is a newer lifestyle subscription box for women and by women. It is $44.95 plus $5 in shipping, which I think is a pretty good deal these days considering the costs of shipping. If you're interested in giving this box a try, you can save 10% using my code, which is Noel 10 And as always, I will leave all of that information for you in the description box below. But let's go ahead and dive in and see what we've got for this month. So right on top, I'm just seeing a beautiful note card. They always do a nice job with that. And then sometimes there's a note. And once again, there is a nice handwritten note, which you guys know that I absolutely love. So it says, hi, Noelle. Thank you for taking the time to review our box. We look forward to seeing your thoughts. This month's box is filled with items specially curated to remind you to be thankful as we are thankful for you because you are awesome, Pam and Trudy. And that note just warmed my heart. I am not just thankful for all of you amazing subscribers subscribers and viewers, but also all of the subscription box owners who have been kind enough to take a chance on my small channel, send me boxes for review or offer discounts or promos. I really, really appreciate all of their support and kindness as well. So thank you, Pam and Trudy, for reminding me to be grateful instead of focusing on the negative and the things that might not be going exactly as I would like them to be going. Uh, so the theme for this month is thankful, which totally makes sense with Thanksgiving just around the corner. And I always liked to remind my yoga students that in that season of Thanksgiving, it's not just about the gratitude, but also figuring out ways that you can do the second part of that word, which is to give, to give back to others. A little of your energy and love doesn't have to be tangible products or gifts or things. Um, but I, I'm so excited that we are in this season and I am so, so grateful for everything that I have and have had to experience this year. So it says, what's in my box? And then this is kind of fun. There's usually like kind of something a little interactive on the inside cover and it just says, what are you grateful for? Or three things I'm thankful for. And that is such a great practice. Uh, I know some of you guys are way better about having a gratitude journal or practice than I am. Whether you do it though in the morning, the evening, both in the middle of your day when you just need a little pick me up, I find that taking that time to take a deep breath and find three things that you are grateful for, no matter how small can really change your outlook look and the rest of your day or week. And then they do a really nice job of kind of organizing all of the products in the box into different categories. So it looks like this month we have an adorn section, embellish for the home, savor, so we have some uh, sweet treats, uh, soothe for your heart, and warmth which is homey and inviting. And it's really nice because not only do they tell us about the product, they also tell us about the um, business owner which I think is awesome. So I'm very very excited to dive into this with you guys. It says December box exclusive theme reveal, but then I'm not actually seeing like, like a single word. It just says, tis the season to celebrate you and all that you have thrived through in 2020. This is really the season of you. So maybe that's the theme is you and how awesome you are. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep this open in front of me so that I can reference it as we dive into this beautiful box. So let's see. Right on top, we've just got some pink tissue paper and a little sticker. It's always sealed with this that says, Packed Just For You by Trudy. Nice little special touch there. All right, so inside, I'm seeing a product card that is probably from one of the vendors in here. It is, I think it's from the Hope Shop, so I think this is probably from what's on the first page. Um, 
which is the adorn section but i'm going to go ahead and you guys when you look into the box there's one thing that is definitely dominating all of that space so let's go ahead and dive into that first just so we can make a little bit of room and i am excited about this now we get a lot of mugs in subscription boxes which i'm not mad about it's kind of fun to have a nice mug collection i have made a little bit of space but i'm very like picky about which mugs that i keep and which ones that i re-gift but they are always such a like great thing to re-gift now the mug is in the embellished section or the home section and it is from pinky up which is a brand that you do see in a lot of subscription boxes it's like a tea company i've gotten like little teapots from them i've gotten actual tea products from them um, but this is really pretty and again great packaging if you did decide that you have too many mugs and you want to re-gift this one but i'm going to go ahead and open it up and show it to you because it is so pretty it is a pink speckle ceramic mug bask in shimmering serenity when you sip from a mug that's sprinkled with gold it holds up to 14 ounces of your favorite beverage so pour yourself some drinkable staycation and get relaxing so i thought it was going to be easy to open but it turns out that it's actually got a little sticker here on the side that's keeping it sealed so let me see if i can just slice that carefully on each side don't want to mess it up like i said just in case i do wind up storing it or re-gifting it um, but it is nicely packed in here which is is good and very important with a beautiful ceramic mug like this so and then we've got some bubble wrap prolonging the anticipation but you guys know pink is not my favorite color but i love gold accents and this is such a like luxurious looking mug and it's kind of a fun shape like a little bit different right it's got this little handle here and then i love the gold rim although because it has these metallic accents i'm guessing it is not microwave safe which is okay um not my favorite though i do of course love things to be microwave safe as well as dishwasher safe it says do not microwave hand wash recommended so this is your fancy mug that you use when you have a little extra time um, but it is really really pretty and let's see it just says female tea lovers from the founders of pinky up pinky up was created in 2016 in seattle washington by a group of women who love tea and want high quality ingredients but don't relate to the new age and stuffy images of other tea brands i think that's kind of funny i never like knew that little like company uh statement or history about them so that's kind of interesting so let's go back to the adorn section, which has our little jewelry piece. And I've gotten such lovely jewelry pieces from the Hermine box. So these are kind of fun. These are, it looks like, show your BFF how much you're thankful for them. Give a bracelet and keep one for yourself and always wear so you're never apart. So it's little friendship bracelets. One is in red and one is in black. So you guys know me, I would probably keep the black one. Um, but I actually love the color red as well. So depending on who I pass this on to, uh, we'll determine the color so they are just like on stretchy cord which I'm not usually a fan of that because I'm always like nervous that I'm gonna like break them and they're gonna go flying all over the place but I do love the texture on these beads I think that's really really cool so these friendship bracelets it says being thankful for the amazing people in our lives is an, is an important practice and equally important practice is being kind and encouraging to ourselves these friendship bracelets are designed to be shared or kept as a reminder of who we are thankful for and this is created by uh, Rebecca 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 is the founder and CEO of Hands Producing Hope, which was started in 2010 when she was living in Costa Rica. So it looks like, let's, I'll go ahead and read this for you guys. It says, while she was living in Costa Rica for six months and began to learn about the discrimination and hardships a native people group called the Guayami face on a daily basis. Moved by their story, she visited the Kapi Abajo Reservation for the first time and began dreaming of what her role in this community would be. There she met, a woman, wem, met women who in in the face of oppression and extreme poverty still had hopes and dreams for a brighter tomorrow while these women had a passion for learning and creating rebecca realized they were in need of a market since their journey began in 2010 they've, they've seen the lasting positive impact that consumers can make on the lively livelihoods of entire communities it is their it is their heart that they may stir up a, it is in their heart it is their hope i'm guessing that they may stir up a movement of thoughtful spenders who value the face behind the product and spread the story of hope and empowerment so this is that card that i found in there on the top and it talks a little bit about how you transform lives with wh where you put your money, where you spend your money, um, which is an important thing to think about in the holiday giving season. It's talking about supporting and impacting. Um, so that is great. I love when we're using vendors or uh, companies that have a mission, a cause, and as well as getting a lovely product to, to wear and share. So let me see what else we've got. So 
Turning the page back to the embellished section, we have a rose gold leather snap keychain. So I know some of you guys are huge fans of rose gold. I like didn't like it at first just because it's kind of pink, but I've kind of come around. I, I wear some rose gold now these days. So this is a nice simple uh, keychain and I think that's nice. So it does snap open, which is great because you can kind of use this uh, a little more utilitarian, right? To kind of con combine things like close up bag straps or even co connect different bags to things or other keychains and then the keychain part is just this regular ring so it says add some flair to your keys with this handmade leather snap keychain the founder of the purple chickadee is Danielle it says Danielle is known as the 20 something soul creator behind the purple chickadee she has always been one to have multiple crafts on her desk at one time in May 2015 she decided to turn her crafting into a business and the purple chickadee was born what a cute name too so I love that and it does look to be um, real leather which you guys know that I actually prefer real leather products I'm not vegan um, while there is nice vegan leather I just find uh, real leather to be more sustainable that's just been my personal experience so just know that that is the case with that item so let's see what else we've got now it looks like we're getting into the savor section which is where we have some deliciously sweet items including let me find it well, let's go ahead with the one that's right here on top. So this is the Thanksgiving Blend Ground Coffee from Java Roma, which is a great name. So we got this nice little package. It says spicy full bodied brew with subtle herbal notes that will warm you up on a cool fall day. The founder of Java Roma Roasters is Joanna. It says starting Java Roma Roasters came from a vision to provide exceptional coffee and support sustainability in the coffee industry. Using coffee as a vehicle to impact people's lives is simple but powerful. This woman owned company is five years strong and looking forward to many more years in making a difference so again love love that cause love that intention love that these are all female owned businesses all right let's uh find the next item before we move on there's just a few foozles in here so here are some stroop waffles which is a, a dutch thing and i i think they're awesome so uh let's see these are caramel waffle cookies. So they're kind of chewy, they're very sweet. I know some people are huge fans and some people are like, I take it or leave it. Um, but I think the idea is that you like can put them on top of your coffee mug and kind of warm them up, get that like sugar warm. It says, what is a stroop waffle? A waffle made from thin layers of baked dough with a thin layer of caramel syrup in between. To enjoy a new stroop waffle experience, place your stroop waffle on top of your warm to your coffee. After a few minutes, the caramel in the middle will get warm and melty. And this comes from finger licking Dutch and it's by her name is Femke Vielenturf. It says she's the co-founder of Finger Licking Dutch and she grew up in the Netherlands. Every week she would visit the local Dutch market to buy caramel stroop waffles. Femke started Finger Licking Dutch with her partner John, a former NFL player. On one of their first dates she gave John a traditional Dutch food package with stroop waffles in it. So that's a kind of a cute story. Um, I, I like them. I think they're good with something that's a little bit more bitter because they are really really sweet so it is really nice to have like with coffee or like a black tea for example. All right, I think we have a couple more things in here. So this just keeps going. So this is in the Soothe Your Heart section and it is a hand carved soapstone heart and it came in this little pouch, which I think is a nice touch. It says this colorful etched thankful heart is a fair trade product handmade in Kenya. It is hand carved out of stone, sanded, dyed, and then etched all using simple hand tools. Use as a paperweight or keep the stone cool in the palm of your hand and rub with your thumb for stress relief. So mine is in this like really pretty like purple color the one that's in the picture looks a little bit more like a berry color and so I was kind of surprised I was also surprised by how big it is I thought it's just gonna be like one of those little tiny ones that you can almost keep in your pocket but it has some definite weight to it it's it's pretty big so I think that's cute it's so soft I love soapstone things they are like very strangely calming I wouldn't necessarily use it like as a worry stone in my hand but I just like to have them I think it's really pretty and if you have like a little basket or tray where you have all of these little like stones with sayings and words on it like I've seen that in other people's homes and I always think it's a really nice touch so I have a couple of these from different boxes and stuff so maybe I'll have to start like collecting them in a cute little basket or something um, so this is from Venture Imports and the founder's name is Jenny Jenny founded the business in 2001 after an inspiring trip to South Africa her final year in college that is funny because I also graduated from college that year now you guys know exactly how old I am while finishing up her economics degree she was working for some professors studying how international trade affects those in the global south fair trade sparked her interest and she began researching how she could be best of help 
Upon graduation, she started Venture Imports with a loan and lots of wisdom from her uncle Jim. She took another trip back to Africa, this time to Kenya, Zimbabwe, and South Africa to meet as many artisans as possible. Since then, she has been running the company in the U.S. with yearly trips back to Africa, Zimbabwe in the early years, and Kenya in the more recent years. So I wonder how uh, COVID has ex affected all of her travels and sourcing all of these awesome products. Hopefully not too much, but again, this is always a great reminder to be thankful. So I'll have to put this on my desk. And then finally, the last item, which is in the warmth section, and it came, I just found the little extra piece rolling around in here. It says, this is an apple orchard candle, and uh, Trudy and Pam, or her, the Hermine co-founders, are doing their own like in-house candles. So there was one in the last box, and there's one in this box, and it just came in this cute little jar, which I love, and I'm very excited about an apple-scented candle. We already like burned the other one that we got in the last box in this house. It was lovely. Oh, this is nice because it's a lot fresher. It really smells like fresh apples and it doesn't have all of those like cinnamony, spicy, like fall scents. I love this. This is so nice. It says the scent of crisp of, of apples is a crisp and fresh way to bring the feeling of the season to your home. We've included matches so you can enjoy your candle right away. So I think that's so cute. And look how cute these are, you guys. They included them in a little jar with a little cork on top. And then the little, the part that you strike is actually pink. So it kind of like goes together. They always do a really nice job in terms of presentation and curation where all of the colors in this box totally go together from the pink tissue paper to the pink mug to the little purpley, uh, soapstone and then all the way to our lovely candle and matches and then there's just a little note here from Trudy and Pam it says we are so thankful for our bond not only mother and as not only mother and daughter but also as friends when Ermine was alive the three of us were more like sisters that feeling of love and support is what we hope you feel with each and every box you receive so I absolutely feel that I think they put so much effort and thought into every box I love that candle you guys that is definitely my favorite item in the whole box um, and then after that probably the mug even though you can't microwave it I do think it's just lovely very very pretty um, and I just love that like I said I love the story about each of the companies that have contributed to this month's box let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was definitely check this box out if you're interested in giving yourself a gift or one to someone that you love if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing